Okay, our lovely hero just decided to uh, mulligan down to six, so let's see if if we can actually play today. Come on, man. Doom finite. Oh, this 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 all seems very familiar. Pretty much the same uh, same game as last time. Not anymore. I don't think I played this that early. I like our hand. <clears throat> I like our hand. Uh, I, I could use a lot more lands, but uh, so far it looks pretty decent. Devoid and ingest, that means there's no point in swinging. Thank you for the lands, everybody. I will be very happy to drop this shit now. And just pass turn. Just pass turn. I don't think he'll be swinging. There's not much point. Seek the Wilds. Uh, I assume this is getting him a land right now, because it's early and he needs to get that domain as soon as possible. Wait, he has domain. Was he four colors or three? Oh, shit. Did he have blue in there? I think he had blue, right? I think he had blue. Ooh, I don't remember. There's Sludge Crawler. Neato. Neato. Uh, okay. Well, I will swing for two. <clears throat> now, let's see. One, two, three, four. So I'm far away from sheer drop. So I'm not going to consider sheer dropping this guy for a little while. Uh, I think tightening coils is probably a better option for me. But I'm not going to do it now. In fact, I'm not going to do. Actually, I will cast Kozlex Channeler. Who am I kidding? That is absolutely happening, because I want to ramp for next turn. Uh, if he ends up putting a flyer down, I'd rather cast Tightening Coils on the flyer so I can keep getting in for two damage. That is not a flyer, but he does have a lot of tokens now. I think three, right? No, two. I was, oh, I'm, right, I'm thinking of somebody else. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not zooming into these cards, am I? I'm sorry, you guys. i got to show you what's going on here. And then this guy, and then this guy, and then this guy. You've seen them before. And then my guys, too. Why not? Uh, all right. So I have seven lands. Super cool. Super duper. Super dee doo. Super duper. Super dee doo. One, two, three, four. Huh. This is what I'm going to do. I can tap down this guy. And swing in with a 3-3. Three, three, which I think I'm okay with. I think I'm okay with that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Cast with Awaken on that guy. Uh, choose that guy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me think about this. Because I could just swing in with a 4-4. Four, four. No, that's silly. Because then he can trade with a 4-4 four, four and I really need the 4 damage. Really need it. No, no, damn it. Come on. Sorry, guys. Not thinking very much right now. Undo that last tap. Tap this guy instead. Tap him for colorless. Tap that guy. And honestly, I think I just want to swing all in. I'm going to be as aggressive as humanly possible right now. If he wants to spend the majority of his mana pumping this guy up to a 3-3. Three, three. I am so happy with that. Actually, I guess he can do it with a 4-4, four, four, but, but that would be dumb. Because <laughs> you're you're getting rid of an extra 2 damage to get 1. So, yeah. Oh, you are doing the triples. Okay. I'm... Alright. I didn't think he would, but I'm kind of glad he did. I'm also kind of weirded out. Why did you pick... Uh... <clears throat> Oh, I fucked up. I should have I hit one of these guys. Whoops. 
Why did you hit the uh, one three over the island? Don't you think the island's more important? I guess he wanted to keep these guys. All the more reason that I that I kind of fucked up there. Hmm. Oh well. Hopefully it's not that big of a deal. I still have two pretty decent removals in my hand. Pretty decent? Like, okay decent? <laughs> What's he do here? He is swinging in, so I'm assuming he's going to pump this guy up. Which I'm actually... I, I want him to. I really, really do. He did not, so he has another play. Damn it. That sucks. That's bad for me. Super bad. That means he's got a blocker. And I don't want him to have blockers. What did he play? Oh, Call the Scions? That's a bad card. I don't like that card at all. Bad card is bad. Hmm. So he can trade with this. Well, he can't if I shear drop right now. I could shear drop this. Let's see. And then uh, swing for two, three, four, five, four, five. All right, let's, let's hang on. I got to count. I'm sorry, guys. Six. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Six. All right. So I can. I can. All right. So I can hit an island. Hit one, two, three, four, five, six. So then I'll have a 3-3, three, three, a 3-3, three, three, and a 2-1 swinging in. He can chump both of three. He'd lose everything. He would lose everything. I want him to lose everything. This guy. Choose target land I control. This guy. I don't have to. I can also put it on this guy. And then just have a super big creature, but I'd rather have two separate creatures right now. Okay. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? Let's see if this works. He can choose to kill one of my lands. And I'm all right with that, because he'll lose three of his Scions, which is a lot of his mana right now. I'm totally tapped out. Does he choose? Yes. Okay. That is... That's fine. That tells me that he doesn't have anything too bad in his hand, or that he can pay for everything in his hand. He's taking five. Uh, that's pretty aggressive for me to do. But I'm an aggressive player. And from now on, I'm swinging in with that 4-4. Four, four. So I got a 4-4, four, 3-3, four, three, three, and a 2-2 two, two flyer. If he does put down a flyer, I can tightening coils it to uh, ensure that I keep doing those two damages. Those two damages. Two damage to target creature or player. Damn. Uh, there goes my flyer. All right. So he does not have a flying creature. This means that this is going to go on whatever bomb he has. Okay. I don't think I swing in with my land here. I think I'm just going to swing in like this guy. And I assume he's going to chump it. I don't know if he'll do it with the 2-2 two -two or the 1-1. One -one. He won't do it with anybody. Okay. Pass turn. Uh... Did I win this? He's down to four. Nope. He uh, dealt five damage to who? Oh, right. Kozilek's Channeler. I was thinking, why didn't he hit my uh, land? But no, obviously. The land can only give me one. Kozilek's Channeler can give me two. See, the problem here is I have to spend this. Because if I don't, he'll, he'll trade. Uh, he'll double block, and I'll only hit him for two. He'll double block and kill my... My Brosif here. I don't know how he wants to block right now. I mean, it's a super aggressive play, but we're both down to one card in hand. He's just chump blocking, going to two. 
Uh, he needs an answer in hand. What's he got there? Alter's Reach. Okay, drawing two cards. That sucks. A Reap, not Alter's Reach. That's not good for me. He just needs... Oh, I got it! Whew! Thank God. What was I getting? Oh, that would have been nice. <laughs> but I ended up winning anyway. This guy's pretty damn useless. I mean, I got him in here as a wall, but... Pff, really, when you think about it, he doesn't do jack shit, does he? <laughs> do I want anything in here? I love those flyers. Those flyers are winning me the game. I have one more. It's a six drop, Jesus. No, I can't. I can't. Let me see. I, I don't feel like the, the counter spells are really going to be worth my while. I don't feel... Actually, Hedron Blade could be useful. This could be relevant, actually. I'm going to throw this in here. When it becomes blocked by a creature, it gains Death Touch. Yeah, uh, he is playing one of those uh, decks. I'm not getting rid of any, any anything else like that. Um, I think Tide Drifter is the one who's going to go because it doesn't sink too well. And I'm going to leave Hedron Blade in here because this will th this works with his deck. He's got a lot of bombs in there. He gets to go first, or at least he gets to choose to go first. I'm going to keep this. This work for me real good. I can cast everything in my hand. I've got a, a two drop, a couple of four drops, but this is more of a finisher than a four drop, so I'm, I'm all set. I have, I have my domain. I have everything I need. This is perfect. You know what? He did end up mulliganing that, uh, that first game. Let's see if he chooses to mulligan again. I'm not sure. Oh, not the first game. The, uh, the second game. He kept it. He chooses to go first. Okay. <sighs> wow. Man, him getting that Evolving Wilds. <laughs> I'm impressed with this guy. Hey, it's not even a land. Excellent. Usually when I keep a four-lander. <laughs> the odds of me picking another land is 100%. Apparently not today. So I guess it wouldn't be 100% then. Whatever. I got my room. I got literally everything. I got three creatures, sort of. I've got a finisher and a removal. So I feel okay. I feel okay. I'm not not great. <laughs> not great, but okay. Again, assuming uh, that this card is getting him a land. Let's put my little bastard down there again. That's what he does. Just gonna show you guys what everything here does. Incubator drone uh, just shits out a little scion. Inspired charge is a finisher. Uh, loses flying minus negative six, negative O, and then this guy just pretty much has uh, first strike. And he played uh, call of scion, so he gets two little one ones out, which don't really do him a whole lot. Uh, do I want to do anything about it? No, I think I'm just gonna swing. Uh, I doubt he's going to block. That doesn't seem like a good a good block. <laughs> and I'll just put my little cub out. And pass turn. And that's my cub. It's a cute little cub. Cute little cub. Uh, in duels, I, I would imagine that this is one of the cards that comes out in uh, Duels of the Planeswalkers. I think so. I think so. It, it feels like a card that they would pick. It's like, it's not powerful that much at all. It's pretty fucking vanilla. <laughs> it plays with all those enchantments, and it's a good counter to uh, a lot of shit, so... And he killed my cub. He spent three damage to kill my cub. Okay. Um, okay. Next turn, undo Greathorn. The other option actually is Incubator Drone, which... I think I'd rather do, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna swing. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna swing in anyway. I, he's not gonna block. That that would be dumb. I'm a greedy baby. And I'm gonna do incubator drone. Actually, wait a minute. Let me think about this because undo great horn has landfall, and I have a land in hand. So fuck the world. I'm doing undo great horn. Let's go. He can dump the. He can. Pump this by two, uh, three if he chooses to sacrifice his scions. If he wants to sack out his scions, 
Actually, no, that's stupid. I, I was I was playing with the idea of uh, blocking with my uh, great horn, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing jack shit here. He chooses not to buff it up. The threat of buffing it up got him to go through. See, he had no intention of buffing this up unless I blocked with this. Now he has the mana to cast whatever he wanted. So, good on him to play correctly. Man, he's got a lot of big guys, doesn't he? Does this do anything? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's a gigantic fucking 9-9. And the best I can do to him is make him a 3-9. Which is still pretty fucking relevant in my opinion. Oh, boy. That sucks, because I was going to swing in with that guy. This is, like, the whole reason I put this guy down. I don't have any other removal for this massive monstrosity. I An option is to play my courier griffin. Wait for better removal. And then chump block with the Stonehaven. I think that's what I'd rather do, actually. My other option is Incubator Drone, and just chump with the one one. No, I wanna, I wanna do this. And then I'll leave this planes open so I can gain a life before I, before I kill that guy. Or do I want to kill that guy? Huh. Huh. I'm thinking. Because I got my inspired charge right here. So, what can I get him for? F one, two, three, four, five. If he, if he has no blockers, I can kill him, but I don't see myself getting in that situation. No, I don't think so. I, I think the tightening coils goes on Olamog's despoiler. I, my, my thinking is to drop incubator drone, get a, get a massive force going on here, and then inspire charge alpha strike and try to kill him, but that would require me taking nine plus whatever he wants to pump this guy up with. So, I feel like that's a bad play. Just that. Really? Huh. Just that. So, three, four, five, six... You can pump it three times, make it a 4-4. Four, four. Do I chump? I think I do chump. Because I'm not doing that alpha strike because he's got this gigantic motherfucker out now. And now he has to spend a bunch of mana to beef this guy up if he wants to kill it. Otherwise, we just sit here. He does, he does want to kill it. Okay. That's fine. Back to 20. This doesn't have a reach or anything, right? <laughs> no. Now he pretty much just passed his turn. Oh, there's a sheer drop. That's nice. Um, don't have enough to cast it. Unless I played Incubator Drone, which I might, which I will. Uh, it doesn't matter which one I pick. I'm feeling somewhat confident. He only has two cards in hand, and he has one gigantic bomb on the field. As long as the field stays relatively similar for the next couple of turns, I will win. I absolutely have the advantage here. 
If he swings in, I'm probably going to actually block with the incubator drone <laughs> over the scion, which you might think is insane. But I need the scion so I can drop um, sheer drop, <laughs> so I can drop sheer drop, drop drop the drop drop the base for uh, for awaken. And even if I draw another land, then that just means I can swing in with the next turn. So really, I'm I'm not gonna. If he swings in with his nine nine, I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna block with a two three. I have no cards in exile. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. Then I'm blocking with a two three then. Where do I just take it? Let me think about this. Nine. So how many how much does he have? Three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. So he can make that a four four, so he can hit me for thirteen right now. And then I swing back in for two. Three, four. That'll get blocked. Five. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I feel like I don't block here almost. I know that sounds absolutely crazy. No, who am I kidding? I block. Of course I block, because he's got another creature coming into block right now. Yeah, he has two cards in hand, ton of mana, or ton of land open. Right now he's like, what the fuck are you doing? What's wrong with the Eldrazi? That, 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 that's a big ass telegraph, letting him know that I have something crazy going on here. Uh Hmm. The other option I have, I can negative six the sludge crawler, and then sheer drop without awaken the despoiler. He's leaving three open. Okay. Wonder what he's got. Or just two open. Two open. Oh, I see. To kill the griffin. Okay. Alright. That sucks, but it's okay. Sucks, but it's okay. I do like me my griffins. Land is excellent. Land is super excellent, actually. Cast with Awaken. Kill that monstrosity. Pick that land. Pay for a million. Oh, I have to tap him anyway, don't I? Shit. Oh, well, I'll just sack him out. I gain two damage on the field. What's he got at most? A 4-4? Four, four? Unless he... Yeah. 4-4 four, four I can live with. He takes it all. Holy shit. No chumps, no nothing. Oh, no, he's got a five five. Six if he chooses to go with a scion too. But I mean that that takes up all of his land, you know? I mean that's a lot of shit there. And he just passed his turn. Okay. Well, that's going here. Now it's pretty much just an O one. And do I waste the land now? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to that for a little later. Swinging in for everything. Uh, probably double blocks. Not double blocks, but block here and then block on the other one because this is now useless. Or he's saving the Scion. That's fine, too. Uh, not the best, but... I have one trick in my sleeve right now. <laughs> one trick. 
-hmm. Does he take? If he takes this, I'm casting in Inspired. No, he's not taking that. He ain't taking that. He's just taking two. He's running out of time, too. Oh, he's got a spell. What the hell is this? Put a bunch of plus one, plus one counters. Mm -hmm. He's got four colors, so he's going to make a five, five out of that thing. Shit. And his counters, too. They're permanent. Counters on target creature where X is the number of... And it gains trample. Hmm. God damn, man. Uh, looks like I'm losing my land. I, I, can, I can't save it, but I can trade. Do I want to trade? Actually, that is what I will do. No, I can't. I don't have the four for it. Son of a bitch. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn it. Can't do shit. All right, I'm fucked. Should have played this land earlier. Okay, have to lose that. Don't like this at all. This is poops. This is poopsies. He can hit me for five. But he's at seven. He might hold that back as a blocker. He's top decking. What can I grab to get me out of this? I'm still at 17. I'm, I'm somewhat healthy. Hard time seeing what... Oh, he is going in there. All right. You know why? Because he's got this dumbass chump blocker thing here. Don't be land. God damn it, land. Oh, jeez. All right, well, I will play it. Swinging in, baby. What do you got for me? I know what you got for me. You're going to fucking chump block it. With that useless-ass creature. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Yeah. You're really throwing me off here, man. I don't... Why... Why would you ever let that go through? End of turn. Put a land down. Now he's truly top decking. But he did thin out his deck, so he might have grabbed something? Don't know what it is yet. Oh, whatever it is, he's scared. What a fucking scare, baby. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up an Alpha Strike next turn. How about that? I can't swing. I could have. But then I would have only been stuck with this 2-2, and I don't want to just do that. I want to... I want to save my shit, man. I got to get this guy. He's top decking. Oh, shit! I think I just won. Nice. Fucking nice. If he blocks the wrong one, he's fucked. Actually, no, he's not. He just goes down to one. I don't care about the life gain. That's why I'm doing it like that. Uh, if he chooses not to block at all, he's super fucked, but I don't see why he would ever want to do that. He's, he's at least blocking the 2-2. Come on, yeah. At least. So let's see. Four, five, six. Put him down to one. Nah, fuck it. Go ahead, you're going to three. What do you got for me, son? What do you got for me? Keep in mind, you got three and a half minutes left. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken that bathroom break, dude. Oh, man. I'm feeling... Yeah, that's not going to do it. I'm feeling pretty damn confident right now. He got. I got him. Whew. Nice. Oh, I definitely got him. Too many flyers. Good game, bro. I don't I don't see how you can get out of this. You realize it, it flies, right? Whatever. It flies. Is he just gonna make me do it? Yeah, okay. Woo wee! Alright guys. That is gonna do it. That was shit, man. That was like three hours. But I did at least get two Battle for Zendikar packs. So that means I only paid for one pack, which is about eh, a little more than three bucks. Let's say four bucks plus two dollars. 
So that entire draft cost me about six bucks, roughly. Uh, but I did get all these cards, which you can you know play in constructed or you can uh, sell immediately back. I didn't I didn't pull any money cards, frankly. Uh, I didn't I didn't want to pull any money. Well, I did. Not, that's not true. I do want to pull money cards. I just did not happen to pull any money cards. And um, whatever, whatever. Look, the point is, yeah, I got two packs. Never open these. Always use the, if you're drafting. Always just go back into drafting and shit. And uh, oh man, that was intense, guys. That that was super duper intense. Love you guys. Thank you for, you know, wasting so much time with me. I mean, holy shit, what is this, an hour? Two hours almost? I appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, I'll do maybe one or two of these. I don't think this is going to be a regular thing for me. Um, but this is a special occasion sort of a thing that, that I'm going to do. Anyway, anyway, I'm rambling. That's MTGO, you guys. Uh, it is a fun game. It, it, it's the same game that you're already used to. It's just a little different from, uh, from Duel's. I will see you guys next time, back with regular duels content. Love you all. Goodbye.